Hey guys, back with another weekly update for Xur in the tower at Destiny. This is week 20, so that's 20 weeks of Xur in Destiny, and I've done a video for every single one. So let's continue the trend. Uh, here he is, Xur, Agent of the Nine. He is right near the Vanguards this week. Let's have a chat to him and see what he has for sale. We'll do a quick overview for people that just want to see what he's selling. He is selling the Mark 44 standard sides, Radiant Dance Machines, Starfire Protocol, No Land Beyond, uh, Exotic Shards, of course, and Exotic Helmet Engrams make a return this week. Not selling heavy ammo again, unfortunately, and you can see what upgrades are available there. All right. Let's get into more detail for people that want a little bit more information. Uh, the Titan exotic piece this week are the Mark 44 standard sides. Uh, these particular boots will allow you to carry more heavy weapon ammo and the Be Somewhere Else perk increases the duration of shoulder charge. Um, what it does is when you're actually shoulder charging as a Titan, the screen starts to blur. It almost doubles uh, the length that that will actually last for. So very, very good if you like to shoulder charge in PvP. Very, very nice uh, set of boots. I've actually got a set of those maxed and I, I jump into Crucible and knee people regularly. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at uh, these. These are the Radiant Dance Machines. These particular exotic boots for the Hunter, the Radiant Dance Machines, will allow you to carry more heavy weapon ammo. And the exotic upgrade is called the Dance. You move more quickly while aiming your weapon. This particular uh, set of boots would be perfect for PvP. Maybe reasonable for PvE when you could dodge uh, in a Nightfall or something like that. But for PvP, for Crucible, for Iron Banner, and for the upcoming uh, Trials of Osiris, this is going to be what you want to use if you're a Hunter. Being able to aim down your sights and also move faster than your opponent means you can out-dodge your opponent. So very, very good. And the effect just looks absolutely cool as the, the holographic green sort of boots there. Looks really, really nice. All right. And on to the next piece, we have the Starfire Protocol for the Warlock. This particular exotic chess piece for the Warlock is terrible. <laughs> uh, it will allow you to carry extra fusion rifle ammo, more heavy weapon ammo, and it gives you an additional fusion grenade. I've said it in previous videos, I, I think this chess piece was a bit of a waste, but I was thinking the other day using it because on the PlayStation 4, this was the only exotic I had, and I was using it in Crucible, and I was using it in PvE, and I thought a way to make this better would be... Maybe get rid of this, the Starfire Protocol, gain an additional fusion grenade, get rid of that completely and change that with a perk that if you use a fusion grenade, if you get a kill with a sticky, so with the fusion grenades, they can actually stick to enemies and do extra damage. I think that it'd be a cooler perk that if you were to get a sticky kill with a fusion grenade, it would instantly recharge your fusion grenade. Very similar to the Hunter's Knife Juggler skill, where if you get a precision kill with the uh, blade, you can actually get another one straight back and you can chain them together. I think that'd be a, a more a more sought after chess piece than if it had an effect like that. You could also disable it for PVP if you thought it was too powerful for PVP. Uh, but I think it'd be a much cooler effect. Get a kill with a sticky fusion grenade, it instantly recharges your next grenade. Basically means you can keep throwing them as long as you get sticky kills with it. So you have to be accurate and you have to get kills. My thoughts anyway, I hate that chess piece. <laughs> All right. On to the weapon this week and it is the No Land Beyond. This particular exotic sniper rifle is actually a sniper rifle that you can equip in your primary weapon slot. So meaning you could have something like uh, a black hammer equipped in your secondary slot and this in your primary slot. So you can have two sniper rifles equipped at one time. Very, very interesting. It is a bolt action sniper rifle. It is more of a novelty than anything, I think. There are a lot of people that have made videos where they use them in Crucible, use them in Iron Banner to incredible effect. Uh, I think it rewards someone that has incredible aim and of course, incredible patience with a weapon like this. The effects on this one, of course, um, 
Of course, primary care. This exotic rifle can be equipped in the primary weapon slot. Like I explained, it is a primary weapon, not a secondary. Uh, it has mulligan, so missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. Lightweight, snapshot, and flared magwell. And the master, uh, increased precision damage. Kills briefly increased damage against next target. I've heard mixed reports that this doesn't work very well. Uh, apparently, it's supposed to work in the way that if you get a kill with this weapon and then get a critical shot after that kill, it's supposed to give you more damage. But like I said, I've heard mixed reports about how well that actually works. But definitely check it out. More of a novelty than anything. But if you are someone that um, likes that that iron sight feel and a little bit different, uh, it's definitely very, very different, very retro gun for Destiny. But that is the weapon, of course. Uh, exotic shards, exotic helmet engram, the upgrades this week, sunbreakers, lol, uh, light beyond nemesis, crest of alpha loopy, helm of inmost light, a cliophage symbiote, knucklehead radar, bad juju, invective, universal remote, thunderlord, galahorn, and the truth. Uh, and of course the curios this week we have the emerald coil which is green the plasma drive which is blue and your telemetries are rocket launcher machine gun and shotgun that is it that's what Zer has i hope you enjoyed the video i hope he's selling something that you wanted but for the majority of us uh i'd say these are the best things he's selling at the moment unless you haven't picked up the mark 44 standard sides but anyway like i said i hope you enjoyed and until the next video we'll see you later Hey guys, Masterkiz here. Thanks for hanging around and watching the video. I thought I'd just do a little bit of a blurb at the end and let you know that I've actually got t-shirts available to buy at the moment if you actually wanted to grab yourself one. A lot of people have been asking for shirts over the years. Uh, so thanks to Teespring and Twitch TV, I actually have a t-shirt with one of my own designs on the front and another small design on the back. Uh, link on the screen, link in the description. Go there, check it out. It goes for about five more days. Uh, we've already sold over 90 shirts so far so the support has been incredible but I thought I'd put it here because I know a lot of people don't watch the Twitch TV stuff and I thought I'd give the guys on YouTube an opportunity to check out uh, the first shirt I've ever made so thank you very much I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you later